Are you tired of this happening while taming a dodo? My name's Sekorsa, and today I'll show you how to tame a dodo. And if you stick around, I'll tell you a couple of neat things about tamed dodos. First off, let's prepare. Dodos are a strange type of nonviolent tame. You can never get to really tame them, and they only follow you around while you have food in your hand. Speaking of, the food you're going to need in order from most effective to least effective. Wheat seeds, melon seeds, pumpkin seeds, beetroot seeds. I'd recommend using wheat seeds as they're the most plentiful seed available. While you can use the other seed types for the initial capture, I'd only recommend using wheat seeds for breeding since it's much easier to obtain them. As I said earlier, you cannot tame dodos, instead you need to capture them in a pen or pit that has walls that are at least one and a half blocks high. It's best to have this set up before you attempt to capture the dodo. As a side note, there's a chance that a baby zombie will be riding a dodo. These dodos have been tainted and can no longer be bred, nor will they produce eggs. It's best to just kill these dodos and move on. Since dodos will follow you if you have one of their preferred foods in your hand, this is the most straightforward way to get them into your trap. Another method you could use is creating a lead using string and a slime ball and attaching it to the dodo and dragging it behind you. You need to be careful using this method because if the dodo gets caught on a surface where it cannot follow you, the lead can stretch too far and break. If you cannot find any dodos, but you do manage to get your hand on some eggs, there is a 1 in 8 chance the egg will spawn a baby dodo after it's thrown. Whichever way you decide to use, gather up your dodos in your pen. If you have two or more, you can use wheat seeds to start the breeding process, and throw any eggs they lay for a chance to gain more dodos, until you have the amount you desire. If this video was helpful, make sure you like and share it. Your support really helps out the channel. Now for the neat facts that I promised earlier. Every 5 to 10 minutes, a dodo will lay an egg. When thrown, an egg has a 1 in 8 chance of spawning a baby dodo. It takes 20 minutes for a baby dodo to grow into adulthood. Killing a dodo gives you raw dodo and some feathers. Killing a dodo with fire gives you cooked dodo meat. We can use these facts to create an automated or semi-automated cooking machine. Here's an automatic design. There's a reservoir containing 24 dodos. As they lay eggs, they are collected in this hopper and stored in this dispenser, where they are automatically shot out using this comparator circuit, which also activates the lava dispenser to automatically kill any adults and retract shortly afterwards. There is also a manual override for the lava dispenser if the lava gets stuck in the deployed state. I also have a button in the front which manually activates the automatic lava dispenser. There is currently something that happens when there are multiple adult dodos in the cooker that there is a chance to lose most, if not all, of the cooked dodo meat in the lava. This is why the automatic lava dispenser is required. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and have yourselves a good April 1st.